What's up, people? It's your boy, K-Mass. Uh, I am back again, and this time I'm doing the top terrifying paranormal police encounters scary body cam footage. Before I do that, I gotta get my drink. Dubby. It tastes like uh, it's called mango orange cream. Yep. Spaced it out for you. But... This is tastes like those um, orange cream sickles. All right. So I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video. I told you guys I'd try to get them uh, once a week. But I had a lot of things pop up. Family dog passed away. Um, just a few things that was out of my control. But uh, here I am. I was going to do a Karen video, but I found one. And it was actually a podcast. No actual video attached to it. But uh. Yeah, let's get into this uh, into this video. All right, guys. Here we go. Top terrifying paranormal police encounters. Hmm. Imagine being a police officer running. is credible as police footage yeah he's got he's got a point police footage it, it's a little bit more credible i mean yes people can upload it and alter it but let's see what this does these are some of the top paranormal events that even police cannot explain Some police officers saw something that freaked them out, and they captured it on camera. It's an image that some people say appears to be a ghost walking around the police station. Nancy Laughlin has the video and talked to the men. Who okay, so. It started out as a pretty typical Saturday night. Espanola police officer Carl Romero was on duty, keeping an eye on the surveillance cameras around the station when he saw something in the sally port. At first, that was like a polio, like a fly, a moth, and then I saw the legs in. I'm not seeing nothing. But not really. No. So Romero reported it and told. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, but it is the image is way, way too blurry to even be. Uh, the supervisors, detectives showed us the camera that captured no. the image. They say there is no way in or out of the secured area without an open gate and alarm sounding. You can see it walks through, it walks in the direction of the old uh, transport cages, and there's not really any way for it to get out through there, but it walks, seems to walk right through that. Detectives say there's no logical explanation for this, not an issue with the lighting or a technical glitch. Turns out there are a lot of ghost stories around here. A lot of our officers have seen certain things. Uh, some of our officers have felt what, what appears to be somebody breathing down their neck as they're working. Okay, now that I got a chance to watch it fully, Hmm. I don't know what that could be. It's Some reports in the briefing room. Cops at the station also report hearing strange noises in the middle of the night and seeing unexplainable images in the lobby area too. Espanola police tell us as far as they know, this is not an ancient burial ground. And they say the police station has been here since 2006, but no inmates have died here. But they do say there have been some unsolved murders nearby. Uh, Alright, for at first I was going to say it could be a bug or something. It still could be, but it... I do, actually. I do believe in ghosts. I mean, at the very end of it, it looks like somebody is walking through the uh, cave, walking through the fence. The first part of it kind of looks like a bug. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this police force 
force looks pretty solid to me. It doesn't look like they would waste their time talking to news cameras about something that may have triggered their alarms. I believe these guys really are getting visited by something. All right. What do you guys think? Here we have some police officers on the night shift. They all see this all at the same time, including the footage. Is this real or staged? And why would a police station stage a ghost apparition? What do you guys think? Okay, my thoughts on this, it could be a prank. It could be another officer somewhere playing a prank on these guys. Or the guy that went through the door could be playing a prank on them with uh, somebody else. Oh. Alright, that's se I didn't see that second door the first time. Yeah, I'm going to go with it's a prank. Here we have a live body cam. A canine unit investigating a house after a murder incident. Oh, this looks like the house where Chris, that dude Chris murdered his wife and kids. Or... Not only are voices being heard, but there's apparently a mysterious woman there as well. Definitely paranormal. Was it Chris Wales? I think that was the guy's name. Yeah. All right. What? An investigation into the house. All right. I didn't see the kid. Of the Watts family murder. Chris Watts. Yeah. I don't see what they're talking about. I mean, I see. S I can. All right. All right, that that audio that could have just been somebody else there. It could have been the cop talking to the dog. The, all right, I'm not going to say it's not a kid's laughter, but because it, it is, it, but it very well could be a toy that the doll stepped on or went near motion activated toy. I watched this whole case. Hi. <laughs> it's me. I miss your face. I was just calling to say hi. That sounds ear. That sounds. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Family murder. All right. 
Now, Christopher Lee Watts murdered his pregnant wife Shannon and their two daughters, Bella and Celeste, in Frederick, Colorado, on August 13th, 2018. Christopher strangled Shannon, who was three months pregnant, and then drove to a remote oil site with their daughters. All right, so that footage, I'm going to have to track down the footage itself and see if I can listen for those same things. Unedited footage straight from the police or on the police website or whatever it is. I don't want to hear the footage that is uploaded to a paranormal site. All right. Is it possible that I don't see the kid right there. Steps here is one of the daughters of this family. Yeah, I don't see that. I mean, I see a little bit of a blur, but I don't see what could be a kid. This next video was uploaded by a TikToker named Fate Decided. It shows a group of police officers responding to a call. <clears throat> Let's see what happens next. December 31st of 2022. Three policemen were dispatched to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor. Who I've seen this video. Loud, strange noises were coming from inside. The neighbor stated that they heard deep, guttural noises and piercing screeches that were unlike anything they'd ever heard. When the police arrived, they were deeply disturbed by what they found. Now, the video itself was taken by a paramedic who was immediately called to the scene. As it turns out, the police requested immediate medical care as they were unprepared to deal with the situation at hand. They had no idea that the house they were in once belonged to a family of cannibals who enjoyed butchering human flesh and oh, wow. exotic dishes that consisted of human remains. This cannibalistic family has since passed away, but their house still remains in its shabby condition in a small town located in Greater Poland. On the night of New Year's Eve in 2022, a 20-year-old woman named Kanoka had been inside the house with a couple of friends. They were all playing with the Ouija board with the intent of conjuring the spirits of the cannibalistic family and the victims they consume. This was a bad idea, as all of a sudden, Kamilka began acting erratically and extremely feral before barricading herself inside a room. Something had gone terribly wrong. According to her friends, Kamilka had seemingly become possessed. When the police came, they were left highly unnerved by what they saw. This is what was caught. Jezu, jak to oda tak bardzo? Ja pierdzielę. Ja pierdzielę. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, said, are you shooting? <laughs> are they talking about shooting camera or shooting a uh, gun? Ah, damn. Where's the body cam footage? I want to see. Terrified by Kamilka's strange behavior, the police are unable to go inside and save her. So, as a final attempt to get her out, they head outside and place a ladder against the side of the room where she hides. This, however, did not go as expected. Oh, keep the light on it. Kamilka, 
Oh, damn, she don't like the strobe lighting. What the? The police tell Kamilka that her daughter Victoria is with them as an attempt to lure her out of the room, but this didn't seem to work, given that she still stayed inside. Yo, tase that girl. The police tell Kamilka that her daughter Victoria is with them as an attempt to lure her out of the room, but this didn't seem to work, given that she still <sighs> stayed inside. Unfortunately, not much else is caught on camera as the video ends abruptly, but according All to right. the paramedic who... Alright guys, that... Not Here, let me get to this. Camera as the video ends abruptly, but according to the paramedic who shot the video, Kamilka was eventually taken to the hospital. Strangely enough, it was upon arriving at the hospital that she started acting normal again. After being thoroughly examined by a psychiatrist, Kamilka showed no signs of any psychiatric disorders. Her blood was also checked for any intoxicating substances that could explain her strange behavior, but no traces of any drugs were found in her system. To this day, Kamilka's family nor her friends could explain what happened inside that house. All that is known is that her family wishes to never see their daughter ever like this again. Whether Kamilka was possessed or if she had a... Alright, that right there. That right there. It just looks computer generated almost. It doesn't look like it's part of the video because it's weird. Temporary psychosis remains a mystery. I don't know. Alright, my, my thoughts on that video. Uh, they had the video of them trying to get her out of, the, out of the room. What about the video of when they actually got her out? Why wasn't that video shared? Why didn't we get to see it? Should be. Where is it? <laughs> There's no one outside, no one behind the wheel, and the van is locked. Where's it gone? It's magic. Yeah, it's in the back. It's in the back. You stop thinking I'm in the back. I mean, how do we know there's nobody inside the vehicle? No one in the driver or passenger seats, and uh, no one in the seat coming. Now, I don't know what happened here. This looks like a cop show. Overseas somewhere, maybe Britain, Australia. The cops pulled the car over. The guy had no, whoever was in the car had no time to leave or escape. And look at it. Gone. I mean, I your thoughts about what happened down in the comments below. And if you think this is legit or not, it is police footage. All right, so we're not seeing the footage from the front of the vehicle. The side of the vehicle looks like it has maybe tinted windows. Can't see into the back. So how do we know that there wasn't anybody in there and they didn't just jump in the back and hide behind the seats? Yeah, the doors are locked. All right, what's this guy see? This next clip is of a patrol officer who witnessed some strange movements by the side of a house and decided to investigate. What was, what are, are we watching the door? Okay, here it comes. Shadow of him. That's the officer's shadow. Maybe. I don't know. If you 
keep seeing shadows walking by. I mean, that could have been somebody locking the door. That's a hell of a laugh. All right, back to the video. Oh, yeah. I think I've done a video on this one before. This. Doesn't look like John wants to wait. Yo, did you see that? All right. Watch when it co something comes out of the room. Lights flickering. Okay, Amy, John wants you to call the police right now, if you don't mind. Uh, he says no one's in there, uh, but that all of the furniture's been turned upside down, and the, and the, hold on. He says the carpet's been ripped up and that the shower is on, but nobody's in there. There's reports of screaming coming from that room. All right. Why are we watching the video over? Ooh, damn. What's going on, John? There's no one checked into that room. There should be nobody in there. During a police operation in Brazil, officers bravely ventured towards an abandoned building. But what they came across was terrifying. Caralho, bicho, que que é isso, mano? Cuidado, Judá. Cuidado, mano, que que é isso, mano? Ok, it was two door. It was a double Caralho, door. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Wait, mano, wait, wait, wait. É what is that? All right, I'm trying to pause it there. What is this right here, guys? It looks like there might be an animal or something. Or no, that's just tree branches. But that looks like what it, what is shutting it, opening and shutting it. As they approached the building, they discovered a door opening and closing on its own. This chilling sight almost appeared as if someone that they couldn't see was slamming the door. And with no wind at the time, this incident is truly unexplained. Honestly, I still think whatever I focused on behind that door was what was shutting and closing. It could have been a device of some sort, but, you know. I know as police officers tend to see a lot. I wonder how many body cam footage they never spoke about. Yeah, because that looks like something that's back there pushing that door and opening it. Oh, because of the stigma of believing in poltergeist. Now, you may... 
may be wondering why we haven't seen more police footage throughout our lives showing these paranormal encounters through the lens of their body cameras. I believe it boils down to losing credibility amongst their peers, admitting to experiencing something paranormal in an environment like that would quickly get brushed off as imagination. So when something weird and spooky happens, they most likely don't report it. I remember seeing that video. This last video is an example of what I mean, and I truly believe this happens majority of the time when police come in contact with the paranormal. Alright, where was this at? Does anyone live in the house? And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're gonna have to go and search the house and look at what's going on. Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any like pets or dogs or anything? No, no. Just stay here, man. here make yourself known police Anyone inside? Hmm. So that cabinet door shut. Oh, what the heck was that? Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. Okay, the door opened up. What? Hold on. Oh, that's just a chair. My question is, where are all the clothes at in this in this house? Like, they've been he's done looked in a couple different closets, and there are no clothes hanging up anywhere.
you calling for your partner? Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh, he ain't playing. As you can see, this cop is spooked. There's no reason for this, man. Just show your partner the tape. Tell him what you just saw, and that everything is not good. <laughs> well, I assume he did show this to his squad. Since this was able to get out on the internet, but man, this is interesting to see. This world is full of the unknown, and this channel is here to explore it. What would you guys have done? Would you tell your fellow officers about any paranormal event that you run into? Or would you keep it quiet to possibly not risk your job? Nah, I'd tell them. Let me know what you guys think. In the I'd, I'd have to have them come with me. All right, guys, so my thoughts on this. All right, some paranormal cop footage, we don't know whether it's going to be a found footage film or something that is actually out there on the Internet. Some of the found footage films I've watched lately here, if they show cop footage, it looks real. It looks like something that you'd watch on cops or on patrol live, except for the paranormal effect. So there's no way to tell that these videos are what we're seeing. What could be, what's if it's real or not. So in conclusion, guys, make up your own minds on this stuff. I gave my thoughts, my opinions, my reaction to it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and check all the links in my bio. All right, guys, I'm out.